you can see. this way now and doing your own my own video like this so yeah now you're all happy you see my fucking room or something i guess that's what that's what you guys wanted so there you go all right folks ladies and gentlemen it's time for your late night Ugh, review it's a new year and it's the same shit really like really <laughs> and plus it's like more cheaper more cheap shit's going on, really. So it's like, it's not even like non-action entertainment, really. You know, you, again, do you, do you guys think you guys missed anything if you even watched the show? <sighs> so what happened? The show started with fucking Kurt Angle. Talks about the Royal Rumble. And he says, ah, oh, John Cena's gonna be in the Royal Rumble. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. And then freaking he talked, and said, uh, but he said, oh, the men's war, oh, uh, I'm sorry, no, not, not just, this is war, Rumble. the men's war rumble, cause it's true, it's damn true, it's like, what the hell, are you really gonna keep saying it, uh, like, god damn, again, why, why even have a war, rumble, a woman's war rumble in the first place, and freaking what, like, uh, oh, it's a men's now, I mean, yeah, they like, can I just escape the women or something, ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> Then they did, um, then fucking, they talked about the women's war rumble and said, Oh, it's gonna have rules, that the same rules as the men. Okay, who cares? Oh, it's gonna be dirty women now. Well, you're forgetting the fact there's gonna be, yeah, it's a women, but yet the she Hulks are involved, though. You're actually having trainings in the rumble, so that makes, like, yeah, that makes perfect sense. I guess since, like, they're a better, better cuck, well, bail me of cucks that are gay assholes, are in the male sword rumble. I guess the same shit applies now, except it's all like tranny fucking she hulk cunts. So yeah, we get other other diversity in the rumble. Like shut up. <sighs> then fucking the sh who the Cesar and Sheamus comes out. They came out and shit, and they what? Mm. Yeah, they did whatever. Like I didn't care. So that they, that's what happened. They did whatever, some stupid shit. Then yeah, it, it, then it turns to Cesaro versus same same as Shane. What's, what am I saying? Freaking Cesaro, Sheamus came out and blah blah blah. They talk and then Jason Jordan came out. They talk and then Rollins came out. You know those same shit. It, it's gonna incorporate to a, a great match that no one gives a shit. So all well, it's the great match that happened tonight. The first match was Cesaro versus Jason Jordan, and yeah, Jason Jordan defeats Cesaro in some way that I didn't give a shit because I didn't care about watching this match actually. Because yeah, who cares? <laughs> then what else? Fucking what is it? Oh, what's the fucking? I forgot. Oh, oh, then freaking. Yeah, Renee Young's talks to talk about talk to Reigns about the stipulation shit. Ah, if you lose the match, I mean, if you lose the match by disqualification, you lose the title. How about just do a fucking no disqualification match or something? Why does it be a case stipulation that oh, if if you ri lose by disqualification, you lose the title? What where happened to actually having some hardcore matches or something? I already know this qualification match is suck now, but at least that'll be make more logical sense than having a disqualification. Oh, that's the drama. Ooh. Like, okay, what can you do? But uh, just say it would have been more exciting at least. A no squawkation match. Uh. Then what? Second match. Bray Wyatt defeats Apollo Crews. And yeah, it's like, what? Bray Wyatt's been on TV for a while and no one cares. And, I, and uh, yeah, I didn't give a shit either. And he defeats Apollo Crews. Apparently he pushed Dana Brooke to tie this no one gave a fuck. Oh, it's funny. What, is this supposed to be really funny? And Dana Brooke looks like some fucking piggy and shit. Like, I don't know. She looked more like Miss Piggy than how she usually would look like. So that's just like, wow. Apparently she's the woman's something for the, the fucking Titus group. But no one cares. <sighs> Then the third match, uh, 
Asuka defeats her, or Asuka, Asuka defeats Alex Bliss in that uh, WrestleMania Caliber match. Apparently, this was a WrestleMania Caliber match they announced at WWE.com. And let me just ask this since when is a Divas match ever a women's caliber match? Who gives a fuck about women's wrestling? And who's gonna give a shit about, oh, they're gonna have a WrestleMania Caliber? And shut up! Stop acting like you care about women's wrestling. And of course, Alex Bliss looked fucking hot tonight. She really looked great, but of course, she has to lose to a fucking She Hulk. Right, what the fucking do? Oh, push a suka, put the bow on the suka or Oscar. Why? 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 What's there with fucking Oscar? This bitch is this fucking bitch who's old, who's just oh, oh, she's undefeated and all this shit. Stop trying to hype women as they're oh, they're she, like that's just like means like they're oh, they're just fucking men to just being like women. Fuck sakes. Oh, we oh, just, she's undefeated. Who cares? Oh, fuck sakes. God, who cares? Who likes a su Oscar? Oh, she's from Japan. Ugh. Who cares? I really don't care, people. I don't care about Oscar. Like Edge is right for what he said about Oscar, people. God bless Edge. Freaking he he said that the same shit. There's nothing even appealing about Oscar. About oh oh, she just there and stuff, and then fucking dudes whatever. And plus, she's one of these fucking bitches that do strong style. Like shut the stop it. Ugh. Oh, Alexa Bliss is no way near as better than Oscar. She's just, she's just a pretty face. So if a woman is a pretty face, that's a problem. It doesn't mean that she can't wrestle. Yeah, she. They keep saying, oh, well, Alexa can't wrestle and shit. Like, y'all you know, shut the fuck up. And really, like, who cares about? And besides, how, since when you guys care about women's wrestling? Stop pretending you care about women's wrestling. You know you guys care about fucking like hotness. It's like, look, you guys talk about all the Sasha Banks' ass and Bailey's ass and shit, and you can't, and you guys complain, oh, people like Alexa Bliss's ass and shit. Wow, what do you fucking do? Ah, oh, man. Yeah, it's 2018, like, wrestling's getting worse, especially women's wrestling, for fuck's sakes. That's not real women's well, I What I remember, real women's wrestling used to be actually great with actually hot women doing hot shit, along with actually... Doing, you know, maybe uh, that back in the day, you know, back in the day, we actually had hot women that could do both wrestling and hotness. You know, people would be satisfied still. You know, actually promote that they're women. How about that? Actually promote that they're women and let them do women shit. Don't let them do fucking stupid men shit. That oh, oh, we're not we're we're gonna be like the men now. Like promote them. They're women. Be, let them be like women. That's the problem with also the it's. The, like this whole stupid shit, this whole feminazi crap. And same thing with like what bitches like Hillary Clinton. Oh, I'm gonna be like a man now. I'm not gonna dress like a woman. I'm gonna dress like a man. And then all this fucking feminazi. Oh, I right, we rule the world. Like shut the fuck up. Oh, from the, uh, feminism's all about equality for women. Yet you're yet you're freaking it's just fuck, stupid propaganda. Braun Strowman defeats Rhino, and yeah. So Dara Shaman probably didn't watch this match. Cause I, uh, I like Rhino and stuff, and I like Braun, uh... No, what am I saying? No, I don't like Braun Strowman. They ruined Braun Strowman, so I don't care. I don't care about Strowman anymore. You know, like what? I guess, if, let's say, if, in the nice world, if Braun Strowman was still promoted as actually a monster heel, and not freaking as an elf or something like that, or as a goofball, and Rhino was like a legit monster beast. And then, like, he was like, let's say, in the world title picture, instead of him being a jobber and teaming up with Heath Slater, maybe it's a bit good match to watch. But I don't give a shit, because they are both fucking ruined. Yeah, so it's a good thing I missed this match. I mean, and Braun Strowman wins, whoop de doo And it seems like Braun Strowman and Kane had their, like, interaction or something. I don't care. And yeah. Uh, uh, then with Reigns, uh, apparently, yeah, I don't know, something about Reigns, Seth Rollins, and Jason Jordan, to, oh, if the bar outside, uh, we're gonna help you, and, like, who cares, okay? It's the same shit we know. Oh, yeah, but same thing with, with fucking last week, it said, like, the, basically the same shit what happened with fucking Rhino and Heath Slater, same thing happened this week with, Kane, with freaking Braun Strowman, what Kane did last week, so... <laughs> Alright, and like the what the um.
Then what happened? Oh yeah, they promote the Raw 25th Anniversary special um, episode. And what they do? Then Kane and Braun Strowman talk backstage and said, "Oh, we should form an alliance because we're the monsters, alpha monsters." Whoop you do? Yet yeah, y'all ruined it. Or whatever. No one cares. Then Kurt Angle was on the phone like he always is. Why he's always on the phone? Why is why is Kurt Angle always on a fucking phone? For fuck's sake. And then Finn Balor, it just gets scared. Finn Balor's there and says, "Ah, oh, you may not what I may have not been awarded the WWE US that's a title shot, even though on Universal I was the first time I was on top of that. I'll be in the Royal Rumble match." And then like, uh, and then yeah, it's like stupid shit. You know what? Just fuck it. You want fuck it? Just give him the you know what? You know what would be nice? Just do it. Just fucking. Let the smarts shut up, just award him the fucking Universal title match, and have fucking Brock destroy the smart fucker. Just do it. Alright? Because I'll get more enjoyable, I'll more fucking enjoy if Lesnar fucking eat the shit out of this guy, and freaking destroy this motherfucker, then fucking him keeps on complaining and shit. Oh, I'm not over. Oh, and then his fucking fans keep fucking complaining and shit. Can you all shut the fuck up? Holy hell, man. Oh, I'm over. Like, shut up. Yeah, this guy always is so fucking buffered that he, that freaking people think, uh, freaking Vince, Vince McMahon thinks he's not over. And it's fucking true. Like, compare him to Roman Reigns completely, okay. I understand people are gonna get angry, but freaking, just literally, compare this guy to a lot of wrestlers in, uh, in, uh, on today, or in, back in the day. You think people are gonna know who Finn Balor is compared to, let's say, guys like Roman Reigns? People actually know who Roman Reigns is. You might like it or not, people know who he is, alright? Like people know who John Cena is. People know who actually uh, fucking Kane is at least and shit. Orton. Okay? People don't know who fucking Finn Balor is. You're not gonna freaking no one's gonna know that. It's the truth, people. And then, to top it all off, he found partners for some stupid game match that's gonna happen. And then yeah. Oh look the club. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, my god. You get the fucking, you get all the smart jizzing now, cause oh, you got the club members that are gonna reunite. Ah, Gals and Anderson and fucking, what's the fuck, Finn Balor, I can't even remember this fucking guy name. Oh, the ball, the ball, the ball, the ball. Really, this is something to fucking jizz about? You think people, first of all, do you even think that people care about the Bullet Club? Actual wrestling fans, like, oh, oh, not this fucking gay shit, not people, don't, don't, don't fucking give me this bullshit that, oh, you're not a real wrestling fan if you like the Bullet Club, oh, you're not, you're not a real wrestling fan if you don't like New Japan, shut the fuck up, I don't care. And if for, for also, if you legit say the Bullet Club is better than the NWO, you are legit fucking retarded, and might as well just blow your brains out, because you have, as you don't have a brain, all right? Cause you guys are fucking retarded. Freaking bull club, my fucking ass. Fuck the bull club, all right? For fuck's sake, man. Ugh. Oh, shut up. Oh, it's a bull club for you, you. Shut up, man. Fuck, fuck the bull club. <sighs> then what? Like the ice. Uh... Then, like, whatever, how many matches happened. Reigns to be Samoa Joe in the, the IC title match. The match was actually fine. It just, uh, it, it was a fine match. It's just one is too long. And, oh, oh, this is, how can you say the match is too long? How is it, like, just because a match is too long doesn't mean it's all not be good, people, alright? Just straight up. Stop seeing a match is good because it's, like, too, it's long and whatever. Sure, the match was fine. It just what I wouldn't say it, this match was awesome or good. It was just fine. It was fine for a Raw match, I guess, or you know, for IC Raw, IC title Raw match. Yeah, sure, it was a fine match. But the thing is, one is too long, like because you just because there's some things that I didn't give a shit about the match, and two, freaking like whatever, like oh, you, just, you know, what I was gonna say, yeah, it was too long and too like. Just, yeah, like I said, like, over three, like, like I said, it's like, well, just because a match is long doesn't mean it's good. Three, fuck, I forgot. I forgot, people, fuck. Just, again, like, freaking, 
you know, a short match can be good and impactful as well as like a freaking long match. But a long match is like, oh, it has to be paced out. That's also the problem with the three hour Raws. Like, this is what you get with three hour Raws because you gotta get long matches. That especially, and plus, like, it's like, what is really the story behind this match, anyways? You know? Who cares? Oh, Roman Reigns of uh, helping, defending Dean Ambrose. Like, who cares, you know? No one really cares. I don't want to be by some old joke, but you know, it is what it is. Ah. <sighs> yeah, what happened? It's announced. Oh, yeah, then Absolution did their, their promo, no one cares. Then H Hideo Tommy versus Jack Out is confirmed for this week's 205 Live, which people know it wants to give us to watch. Then Drew Gulak is with Ari Davari, and they're talking about, and then they're, they said Enzo Sifus won't be able to defend his title tonight, don't cares. He's like, who even cares that if Enzo doesn't even defend his title? And stop pretending you care about cruiserweights, uh, the cruiserweights, stop pretending you care about, uh, that, oh, you, you think that I, the cruiserweight title is being ruined, because overall, 205 Live is a joke, cruiserweight division is a fucking joke, fuck this cruiserweight division, fuck everything, because, freaking. The main reason why, let me just tell you, the main reason why we, like, us and, like, people in general wanted the Cruiserweight division back, because also, the fucking legit retard, like, freaking all these fucking assholes, like Ziggler, Sami Zayn and shit, could actually be in the fucking Cruiserweight division, and not be in the main event division. Now they're still considered, like, main eventers for some reason. Not main eventers, not just that, but they're still considered as heavyweights for some reason. How fucking pathetic is that? Why does that actually have all the light heavyweights and the fucking cruiserweights in that division? So you can keep, so you actually have the heavyweights for the fucking world titles, because that's what the fucking title is supposed to be for. Heavyweights. For fuck's sakes. Oh, but Eddie Guerrero was a, cru was a cruiserweight. Yeah, Eddie Guerrero actually had a character and, pers and a persona. You know? That's what all the cruisers are for, for fucking charisma charisma backing retards uh, fucking assholes that can just wrestle for, and wrestle five star matches for you people so just do that for some reason Goldust came out to help Cedric Alexander cause I don't fucking know and who cares and then they defeated fucking Google like Ari Davari don't cares ah fuck blah 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 yeah, that's some stupid shit or whatever they talk about. I don't know. So Eli, Bo Dallas, and Chris Axel performed some song and no one cares about. And then the club came out and they had to imagine the club wins. Ooh. The club were really oh, the bullet club. Oh. It's not the club. It's the bullet club. Oh, shut the fuck up and fuck the bullet club. I don't give a shit. And, I, and not even the fucking fans. Oh. How, casual fans are ruined wrestling. Yeah, how do they even become a real fan if they're gonna be if they're not gonna be invested in shit that no one even knows or cares about? You know? Here's the thing. Most wrestling fans started as casuals, don't you think that people? Fans who were casuals actually became like real actual fans became ca were casuals at first and then they became actual fans because they were going to love this shit. Now you guys are fucking ruining this, uh, ruining the love for this shit, cause you, you all, you, you fucking smarts like this fucking bull club crap. And you like all the stupid indie shit, like who cares, god damn it. If you want the bull club, go to fucking Japan and watch this right and demand it. God damn. Don't demand it here in WWE, for fuck's sake, please. Oh look, the Miz is returning. Ah. Oh. Get your popcorn, get your sodas, and we're gonna celebrate because Miz is returning, even though no one gives a fuck. Stop pretending the Miz is good. Oh, he's such a good heel. Like, no, he's not. He sucks. He was never good. That stupid fucking Brian thing. That, oh, he insulted a fucking. Oh, he's insulting Brian. So fucking what? I can insult Brian. I can be. I'm way better than Miz. Who cares? For fuck's sakes. Anybody can insult Brian and don't be over at the fucks because no one cares about Brian. Uh, oh, the Miz, cause, because the Miz did. Oh, he cut a, sh a work shoot promo. Oh, he's. Uh, and two of. Oh, he's talking smack. They should bring back talking smack. Who gives a shit? God. In our main event segment, it was Lesnar and Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman did the same shit. Like, again, I like. I, of course, I love Heyman and Lesnar. But let's. 
be honest, folks, it's the same shit, and I am getting tired of that. And then fucking Kane came out, and oh, they had a brawl. But except it was just so rushed, it was like, it was like a mini brawl, and it was like, it was kind of retarded. Oh, Kane did a choke slam, and then freaking Brock Lesnar stand up like The Undertaker and Kane. And then freaking he attacked Lesnar, it was attacked freaking Kane with a belt. They had a little mini brawl, but not even, like, they didn't even fight for that long. It's not even a big brawl, it was just a little brawl, and ooh, and they got separated from fucking Pete from the roster. It's not even impactful. You know, it could, it could have been something if you actually make it like a legit brawl, like Undertaker versus Kane. Not Undertaker, wait a minute, Undertaker versus, Undertaker versus Lesnar, if you do something like like that, and maybe you could bring back Bra bring out Braun Strowman, it'll be fucking chaotic or something like that. But no, you didn't do that shit. It was just all oh, just some rushed main event. Like, God, uh, this was it was cheap. It was legit cheap, people. It could have been better. You know, that's that was the New Year Raw, and it, you can just tell it the same shit as like last. Uh, I'm not saying it's the worst Raw of all time because oh, we got one fight. Oh, we got one match. Great show. It's not even a great. Like, well, first of all, it's just a fine match. It doesn't mean, it mean that it's a good match or something. And doesn't mean that. And besides, one, if you guys even think one match is a, uh, uh, just because a show is good because of one match, it doesn't mean it's good though. It's gotta be more stuff that for the show to be good, people. Not just one thing out of a three-hour raw. This raw was cheap. This raw was st stupid. It's the same shit. It's the same shit as last year. Could have been better. Like freaking, why is wrestling have to keep sucking, man? Can wrestling be better? I just want good wrestling. Can we have can we have good wrestling people? <sighs> so, uh, so yeah, that's the New Year Raw and doesn't look like it's the off the good start people. So yeah, till next time, peace. Yeah bye. Hello, yeah, you, you can see.